guys. New at six, building a strong foundation after the Surfside condominium building collapse that has killed so many. Many contractors and engineers are taking a second look at their properties. WPTV News Channel 5 Sabira Rayford spoke with the Delray Beach Company about how to maintain a safe structure so close to the water. We spoke with Azure Development, who works on large-scale projects. They say a key component to safety is a strong structural foundation. This is Uftukel's happy place. Absolutely, I love living on the water. The Delray Beach homeowner admits maintaining this is a part-time job. We're constantly doing maintenance here, whether it's you know painting or redoing the the, the pavers every few years. Uh, seawall work. Even still. This pool was built about 25 years ago and it wasn't built on enough pilings. Big problems can still pop up. You're constantly losing water. But before you have this, there's this. This is a little bit over and above the standard. Nicholas Bieber is the construction director for Azure Development. There's a lot of safety factor that goes into structural design of homes like this. In the condo building collapse in Surfside has him and his team taking a second look. We pour things out of solid concrete as, a, as an additional measure of safety, not just as a baseline standard. So I know that we are taking steps to kind of over-engineer and over-design but I think that what we're going to see is probably changes coming in the Florida Building Code that will therefore you know, percolate down into the local building departments and authorities having jurisdiction. Nicholas says it's important to factor in the elements. For example, at this development, they've taken extra structural steps for the outdoor terrace. But that is a solid concrete deck. So it's a different construction methodology. Bottom line? Plan ahead. Reporting in Delray Beach, Severe Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5.